Hi everyone, your Mish Chronicles is Grey Hair Diva. If this is your first time, welcome. If not, welcome back. For all of you out there, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. Hit the like button, chat with me in the comments, and when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. And share my video with your friends and family so that they can come to my channel and get to know me also. I'm here today with a quick video on Jenny from formerly, formerly from the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. Um, she was another one. I was waiting on two um, statements, I guess you could kind of say tonight. Tasha K did hers and Jenny did hers on Instagram Live. Well, Jenny um, dug up out of the crevices her African-American or black friend, Michael, who sat by her side. Um, I guess she wanted to really prove to the world as she made her statement that or, or did her live that you know what i'm not racist like everybody's trying to make me out to be see my friend michael who happens to be black is sitting here next to me why would he be in my house if i didn't care about black people and guys you know i'm paraphrasing um look she alleged like many do when they have problematic posts that resurface you know they want to claim that the social media manager made the post and not them but she took full responsibility but yet in the same breath um you know michael allegedly had to educate her on black people's sensitivity and so forth and so on well if your social media people made these posts and not you, um, why do you need to be educated? Because you're not racist because you have a black friend. So my thing is, well, maybe you had to be educated because you didn't tell them to take it down. Or did you know that they even had it up there? When did you find that they put it up there? I mean, and then it was post at the post as a post. So on your behalf, unbeknownst to you, um, your social media manager made this post or you say you don't remember making the post. So now there's just blurred lines about what happened, you know, last year on your own social media accounts. Well, what do I have to say about this whole situation and this debacle? One, I will say this. I think Bravo only fired her because people were outraged and the fans were calling for it. And I think they knew if they didn't do something that it would have blew up to the level that was out of control and may have impacted their bottom line. So, and the reason why I say that, and, and now Andy came out and he did make a statement saying that her posts were vile, disgusting, and whatever words, other words he chose to use about her particular post. So, the only reason why I'm saying that I think they fired her um, just so it wouldn't impact their bottom line is simply because they have worse on different franchises, okay? Um, if when I say worse or similar, um, I'll, I'll, I'll say, you know, whatever one, it, it's probably all in the um, bucket of being just terrible and deplorable um, in the different franchises, and all of those people didn't get fired. Matter of fact, some of them are still working, and you know, enjoying a nice paycheck. So I think Bravo just did it to save face. Um, but I guess on some flip of the coin, you could say at least they did it. What do I think about Jenny coming on her Instagram and trying to clean up her image and um, save herself, I guess, so to speak, for lack of a better word? Well, a couple of things. I could get why she wanted to do it and she's trying to um, um, clean up her image because she has a family and she has children and then her children go to school. And I think that people can sometimes be absolutely mean. And although the children didn't do this particular um, social media post, there are children that might take it out on her children. So... I understand her need for a cleanup, her need for a backpedaling, her need for us to believe that, you know, this is not her. This is just something random that maybe a, a, a social media manager posted. My thing is, even if you have a social media manager, you would not say to that person, 
before you post anything. You can prepare to post, but before you hit post or whatever, um, run it by me. I need to see it before you put it out there because after all, this is still my social media accounts. It represents me and no one in the world is going to know that you are posting it. They're going to believe that what they see on my account that I own, that it is me. Well, she was another one that kind of, and listen, before she actually did that, she claimed that she was going to answer all kinds of questions, um, you know, like she was going to be all open and prepared for everybody. First of all, I knew that she wasn't going to do that because I knew she wasn't going to be prepared to answer questions from some of the people that wanted to hold her to the fire and say, listen, we need more than what you are saying about these particular posts because the post got a little deep and a little vile. It's one thing to maybe repost something that someone um, has posted or you share it again or something like that. It's a whole nother thing to post images and to write some um, deplorable message um, attached to the images and act as if the African-American community are just savages and deserve everything negative that comes their way. I'm actually extremely shocked. I mean, some people said, you know, from watching Real Housewives of Salt Lake City, that they're not surprised by her behavior and they wasn't shocked. They really felt that she came a little harsh after Mary. In this situation, I think, you know, they both got their issues. So um, is one more deplorable than the other? I guess it depends on who you speak to and, and what your thought process is on different situations. But just because in this particular incident, we found that, you know, Jenny seems to be um, more wrong than Mary. I still don't want to say that Mary in her situation, from what she said to Jenny, was so right. So let's close it out with this because I think it's just a lot of missed opportunities here. And again, no education or no correction and no real direction um, happened with Jenny. I think it was just like, let me see, since I'm fired, how I can get on this um, Instagram live and try to make things semi right. Did it work? No, I think it was an epic fail. So do I think uh, uh, Jenny needs to be punished for life? No, because unfortunately, she is one of um, the individuals that may have gotten caught saying um, things that I absolutely think maybe at least at the time she most wholeheartedly believed. And I don't think 365 days later, um, without any true education, um, that she changed her thought process and her mindset. I, I think it worsened her brand, if that's even a word. Um, I don't know. Sometimes I just don't really know the thought process of people. And she seemed like she... Now, I don't... Let me stop making stuff up. I'll just close out and say this. I'm glad Bravo did the right thing in terms of finding her. I don't think with her mindset or what appeared to be her mindset according to her post that she deserves to be on a platform again being exposed to a ton of people that she can possibly influence and um, um, be hateful versus showing love and being peaceful. Um, her friend that sat next to her um, during this live, you know, you can kind of tell friends when you see them. Um, they're just a little more, I don't know, it's, you, you, you can see the vibe. You can see the energy when somebody is really, truly friends. And I saw no vibe or energy between her and Michael. I saw him sitting there um, doing his due diligence. Um, many people said she probably paid him to be there. I don't know. But I really just saw him sitting there doing his due diligence and thinking to himself, okay, when is this going to be over? Um, so that I can check this off as a job well done or a job done. I don't know about well done, a job done and then go on about my life. So Jenny, it was a fail for me. I'm not sure how everybody else feel, but y'all let me know in the comments. Did you see her, um, you know, her response, her Instagram live? Um, 
do you think it was worth it? Or do you think she just should have just went off in the sunset, mind her business, let this thing die down, and made me reappear to us in the world five years later, looking different, and uh, uh, we can't even recognize her because she changed the color of her hair or whatever the case may be. Thanks, guys, for watching. Chat with me in the comments. And when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. Um, let me know how you felt about her live. Okay, and I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to hit the like button.